Good morning all. Um, yeah, here we are. This is another filter focus video. This is by request um, and I'm going to do corners first for this one. This is going to be, I think, over eight corners was the request. Um, change of scenery. Um, I'm back in England now for a little bit. Back in my old bedroom, which is now a, a makeshift office. Uh, I've still got the um, the wall of to-do list stuff there stuck up, um, transported over from Thailand. Uh, but yeah, I'll be in England now for a little bit, so um, I won't catch those South American games like I used to, but uh, I'll still be around for the three o'clock, which is good. Um, so the first thing I'll do with any filter is matches played, and I'll just put it to, let's say, 11. Set that for both teams. Um, and if you're looking at corners, well, let's just add for the home team. And with all of these filter focus videos, I'm just, I've not really thought about this um, the request came in yesterday someone was asking about a corner filter can you make one for me um, and I just thought well I can but I might as well make it for everybody and, and do it um, just as, as a filter focus because I don't have one I don't have a um, 8 plus corner filter but what I do have is a first half corner filter which actually works pretty well when you set alerts on the um, the Asian lines for corners on that surprisingly or maybe unsurprisingly. Um, so the first thing I'll add, we can look at all the stats that you've got here that are available to um, to add rules on. Um, and we'll scroll down to corners. And the average corners, we're looking at eight or above, aren't we? Um, so for both teams, let's just say overall, they get, let's just go 8.2, right? Um, and straight away, I will just save this as 8.5 corners. When I'm building filters I, I try and save them and um, just access them as quickly as possible to see what kind of games they throw out. Um, testing 8.5 corners. So you can see there's a good, probably a very decent amount of games for the day actually. Yeah, so there's a lot in play here. Let's look at the total corners. Um, and you can see these total corner averages. I mean, they just made it, didn't they? The away team there, 8.22 um, total corners here, the first one. So you can see that this returns a good chunk of games for today. I thought there was more, actually, um, but a lot of them seem to be in Japan. And again, you'll have to look uh, through a few days because um, it's a Monday today. It might just be that there's not that many games. So we'll take a look at a game in Japan where we know corner markets are available. You can see the sort of averages that you get in here. 8.23, um, a few 9s there, and a few 10s. I think 10 or 11 is, is pretty above average, I would say, just in terms of general um, average corners. You've got an 11 there and a 10. That's pretty good. Um, and again, this depends on the market you're going to be going for. I would imagine it's um, over 8 corners which is probably going to be around 1.4, 1.5, depending on the on the market and uh, on the league and the game and the teams. Um, so is there anything we would want to exclude here? Well, we've got this 8.5 corner percentage here. I wonder if we can actually filter on that as a rule. That would probably be a good starting point. Um, and you can see here that there's some teams that have got 83, 70, 70, 70, 70. Um, and you can see that if we did put this to about 70, then quite a few teams would would um, would be removed. So these two games would be removed. This game would be removed if we were adding it for both teams. Um, and that's another thing that we'll look at now when we just go back to the filter, is that you might want to adjust this, especially for corners. Um, you might want to tweak it a little bit um, to think about the home team and the away team, because you might have a home team that gets tons of corners um, and you might want to just weigh that um, and just give a, give a little bit more uh, room <laughs> with the stats to the away team. It's like with goals, if you're looking at BTTS, you might want to put a little bit more weight on the away team uh, getting goals. So if you're looking at averages, maybe 1.4 for the away team and then just one for the home team. Because with, with BTTS, in, in my mind, it's more important that the away team can score, so it's just trying to trying to get that kind of um, point across. So let's look at that stat for corners. Um, so you've got all your corner stats here. So if you wanted to, you could add the seven point five and and bump that up to to be quite high as well. 
Um, I'm just going to go 8.5 because that's that's the market that you're looking for, isn't it? Really. So for the away team, um, no, let's, yeah, let's keep this to the away team on the road. There has been nine or more corners in, let's say, 60 games. And then for the home team, um, we'll add the same rule. 8.5 corners at home. And we'll just bump it up a little bit. So say 68. And it's all about tweaking with filters. Just save it, go back and see if, if the list of fixtures is... Um, more to your liking. It depends. I know some people that create filters where they, they want 50 games per day, but I'm sort of the other way inclined. I would rather there be a list of 5 to 10 games that you can actually look through uh, you know, quite quite intensely and, and, and actually understand the game and take it or leave it. When there's so many games, you might find yourself just setting alerts on all of them or taking all of them or playing a massive accumulator or something and, and as soon as you do that you know you're the bookies best mate really um especially with the with the large accumulators so if you create a more narrow filter a filter that you can trust that just gives you a, a few games every day um then you'll be on to a winner uh, so we've got the away team corner average 8.2 we now have the away team um percentage 60 percent home team and let's just add one more thing for the home team here. And in your head, when you're making a filter, you sort of just have to think about how games play out. Um, we've got second half corners that you could throw in there. Um, what I was looking for is the, the corners for. So the corners for average at home for the home team. Let's say we want a team that gets over three, so... Put that to three point two. Just it's just better to have it in there, I think, just so you you're gonna have a home team that consistently gets corners. So we'll save that and we will just uh, overwrite the name. And again, with this, I, I wanted to create these filter focuses to be as normal as possible, and I don't want to prepare for them because you don't prepare for them when you're creating filters, really, do you? You just this is what you have to do, and I'm just trying to. Um, make them a bit of a brain dump as I uh, go through the filters and just, just create them based on my pre-existing knowledge so we've cut out a lot of games there um, and this is a list now that's looking decent for corners um, the previous one might have been but you're giving yourself too much to do really you might as well narrow it down with some stats that are not going to harm the the actual uh, end goal which is over 8.5 corners so adding in the home team that averages what was it 3.2 um, per game and you know that they've they've played a decent amount of games because we set the minimum um, amount of games to be played and you can bump that up I would always I think I've said this in every video now but I just keep getting sent filters and um, they don't have a minimum amount of games played and I just think that's a little bit crazy because the stats are based on the games played. So if you've got a filter rule that's 90%, but they've only played two games, then if it's two out of two, it's going to be 100%, isn't it? Just because <laughs> that that's correct. And and you'll get these results, and you'll get the filter games. And, um, you know, it's too early to tell. It's two games into a season. They've only played at home once. Um, so if there's anything you take away from these sort of... Uh, filter focus videos it's it's that you should have more minimum games played and um, the bigger the sample size the better in any kind of uh, analysis like this not even just football to be honest um, so let's have a look at these games now that we've got you can see that the averages meet the corner the corners for meet um, is there any that I wouldn't take in this list well you've got an average of 3.3 .3 for the away team there that's not actually too bad um, the 8.5 corner rank is quite low there. Um, I think we set it to 60, didn't we? So you might just go and um, play this by ear, just looking at the uh, corner, total corner stats. You can look at the first half corners if you want to as well. Um, and then maybe just go through and, and have a bet. And uh, I think people would use this uh, for bet builders as well. So maybe there's a strong home team here. We could uh, switch to the probability model. So you've got a strong home team here in Lithuania. 
So you could maybe create a bet builder around that. Now, now that you know that this game also qualifies for um, over 8.5 corners on this list. And again, you know, this, this filter has been made in five minutes. Um, filters can take time to refine and they can take bets to refine as well. And that doesn't mean spending actual money, but just um, paper bets or just logging your bets and just tracking this on your own and say, seeing which games did well. And then you can, you know, with the frozen stats as well, if you view a game from yesterday, you can see exactly how these teams um, were, were shaping up stat wise before the game kicked off. So um, that's why frozen stats was there. It's, it's actually very, very helpful once you're looking back on a filter. Um, and we could do this now, actually, if we look at yesterday's games, it will show us the games and we can look at the live stats. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So this first game, over eight. Uh, this one was exactly nine. This one was eight. This one was over nine. Um, yeah, so this is a not a bad filter. We've got nine here, which would have which would have won if you'd have placed that bet. You've got 16 here. You've got only five here. So it's it's not bad by by the looks of things, but again, this is just one day. This is just yesterday's games. Um, you would need to just uh, do a little bit more checking and and um, looking back. We can do that if you want. Just one more day. Look at Saturday's games. How many did it return on Saturday? Um, not not too many. So this is a good sign because for a Saturday, you would you would think there's going to be more games, but really this is a quite consistent filter in terms of the games it is uh, returning to us. That might change once all these European leagues start, but you can see as well, over nine, over nine, over nine, over nine. Um, I'm saying over nine, but it's nine is a winner as well anyway, isn't it? So this one's eight, this one wins, wins, loses, wins. Yeah, so this this is a good start for a filter. Look at those cards there. Um, and I'll share it with you soon um, after posting this video. I can't remember exactly the username or the name of the um, person that asked for it, but uh, here you are, and uh, enjoy.